Good morning. It's Tiffany. I am not really awake yet, <laughs> but I've fed, dressed, and taken my kids to school, so um, I haven't been checking in. I'm sorry. I'm having... You usually know what that means when you're not checking in, and I am having very odd results. I'm telling you, this round has been very weird. Um, sometimes it makes sense, and most of the time it doesn't. So, anyway, I'll give you a recap. I think I actually did a video Friday, but I don't remember if I uploaded it or not. But, uh, Saturday, let me think. Saturday, what did we do? Saturday, I think, was a loss for me. And I don't remember what, like .6? It put me in a new decade. Woohoo! I'm in the 170s. And, uh, but then, quickly, I think, yeah, that's right. I was in the 170s by like .4. But still, new decade. Yay. Uh, then, on Sunday, I was really good Saturday. We had our local fairs in town. And it's a really, really good fair. They've talked about making it the state fair. But, of course, you know, fair food. Um, my husband is a nut and loves it. In fact, one night when we left in the week, he had a cheesecake and a stick in one hand and a funnel cake in the other. And that's, you know, he doesn't eat like that all the time, but the fair is like his little fair. He loves it. So, anyway, um, it's hard to be good with him. But I was great at the fair. Didn't even eat dinner because I could not even find... Um, an appropriate option so usually you can find something could not find anything so I had brought an apple I ate my apple um, and watched my kids eat um, chicken tenders and a hamburger and my husband ate his junk and just kind of pushed through anyway so got up the next morning now we did walk a lot and then we saw went to see a house before we walked up a huge hill probably half a mile up and back down um, but next morning got up to like a point six gain and um, I realized this is a huge trigger for me when I gain and there is nothing because it's happened like three times now in this round um, not in the first round but I wasn't gaining um, much I mean if I gained it was a cheat so anyway um, after like really all that self-denial Saturday and you know there's times where it doesn't feel like we're self-denying and then there's times like walking around a fair with your kids and husband you feel like you're denying yourself so you expect that to have results and I know that that is an uh, issue I need to work on is my expectations and the how the scale messes me up um, so anyway did all that and had a point six gain super 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 frustrated Sunday morning um, I just felt like you know not fair blah 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 try so hard what's the point all those old voices coming up in my head of why try what's the point so Sunday um, I did pretty good I had lunch at my parents brought my own food did really well but that evening um, I blew it and I ate so I had to make dinner for our small group and I did not eat it at our small group but when I got home I had not eaten yet crazy busy day and I ate a serving of what I had made for the small group instead of um, making myself something appropriate of course it was 8 o'clock at night again all these things totally preventable I know that I just didn't prevent it so ate that um, kind of that oh well mentality. I was up when I do good, so I, I, again, I, I'm realizing these huge triggers for me that I've got to get under control. So the next day was like a 1.2 gain. So back out of my new decade. Um, you know, just I knew what I did that time. That time it made sense. It's like, almost like I want it to make sense. Like when you cheat, you gain. But you shouldn't gain when you don't cheat. So, anyway, self-sabotage is what that is. Because um, I know with HCG, if you just keep plugging, you will lose again. I know this. Um, this is the end of my second round. This is not new to me anymore. 
but some of the things I'm learning are still new. The fact that the scale is a trigger. This is the third time this round the scale has triggered me and um, the fact that if I don't lose on a day that I see is particularly good, I get that's a trigger too. Um, so anyway, but I, I did get back on the wagon yesterday. Um, had a great Monday. Um, was a little hungry. Hunger has still been an issue this round. Um, ate a little more protein than normal. Not much like Instead of 100 grams, I had 100.10. You know, nothing crazy. And um, this morning, catch this, woke up to a two-pound loss. I, I don't know. I, nothing. I, sh I did not do anything special yesterday. I drank my water. I did the normal stuff. Two-pound loss. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I should not be having I should not be having gains when I didn't do anything. I should not be having two pound losses. I know there should could be water weight in there. Probably the exercise um, was a bit of a problem on Saturday because it was quite a bit of uphill climbing. Um, I don't know, but anyway, I'm glad to be back. I'm back down in a new decade. I'm like 179.4. Um. A little lower than I was so but again you know the whole purposeful cheat cost me two days I, I'm super frustrated with myself this round um, but I'm trying not to let that be the overwhelming emotion because when I get super frustrated I decide that I just can't do it why well, try blah 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 that's an old habit of mine with old diets and so I, even though I know I feel that, I'm not dwelling there because I know it'll be a long-term problem and I'm not willing to do that. So I have less than two weeks now left on my round and I did extend it. It was going to be a 42-day round and it's going to be like a 52-day round, I think. 50, 52. Anyway, I have like 12 or 13 days left. Um, I'm just going to keep down this path. Super, super pop. I'm still considering a fat fast maybe tomorrow or the next day to um, up my numbers a little bit. I'm right now, I'm right at nine, 19 pounds total loss. Something like that. Let me think. Um, yeah, like 19 pounds total loss. A little, yeah, 18.8 something like that but anyway so no it's not a terrible round but um you know that of course includes my load so I want to do better than that <sighs> so just forcing myself to update and do all my true confessions um and and even though I'm not doing perfectly I am I am learning and I am learning uh what I have to get control of uh, this idea that perfection equals results and zero perfection means you punish yourself. I, I, I don't know. So anyway, I don't know if anybody has had such wide fluctuations in their weight um, on a round before. Sorry, this is morning hair. Um, I would be curious to know if you've had that kind of um, down to up to... I mean, I'm not doing anything different. I'm not doing correction days when I'm losing two. They're just swinging that way. So, I don't know. So, hopefully I will report in tomorrow with good news because I'm going to stay on track today. And I uh, hope y'all are doing great. Hope y'all are having steady losses. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.